Hello, 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 my fellow crafters. Today I'm not alone. I've got a crafty friend here with me. Say hello, Marley. Hello. I had this little puppy that came to see me just before I started, so I had to give her a hug and I had to show her to you. So I'm going to send her away now because uh, if it's up to her, she's going to hug all evening. Oh. So there she goes. Bye, Daniel. <laughs> Right, good evening, everybody. Good to see you. Let me have a look at the chat. Um, that was Marley. Yeah, good to see you. Hi, Belinda. Hi, Ans. Hi, Lainey. Hi, Femke. Linda. Uh, hi, Joseph. Good to see you. Patricia. Uh, lots of people here already. Good to see you all. Um, I'm going to try to keep up with all the comments, but uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, she's, she's beautiful and she's lovely. She's just the sweetest dog you can uh, imagine. But anyway, that's not why we're here. Good evening, everybody. Good to see you all. Um, first, I want to say thank you all to uh, uh, thank you to all of you for uh, always joining me on Thursday evening, but also watching all my videos live. Um, I'm at 1,405 subscribers now, and I'm so grateful for that. So thank you. Welcome to everybody to my channel. Um, also to all the new people, um, but I'm really grateful for that. And I achieved another milestone, which is maybe for you guys not that uh important but for me it was um you guys watched over 4000 hours on my youtube channel which was a huge milestone and i got a huge gift from daniel i'll show you oh. this was rather spontaneous um i'll show you i'll change the camera there we go um I got from Karan Dash, he gave me uh, the watercolor pencils. Look at that. Oh, no, but not just that. He gave me also this Karan Dash luminance set. Ta -da! I haven't used them yet. I've just unwrapped them. They came in today. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. And that was really a nice gift of him to, to give it to me. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you again to all of you for, uh, for looking at my channel and, uh, uh, yeah, staying with me. Thank you for that. I'm really, really grateful. Right now let's change over to my workstation. Um, and, uh, uh let's see what we're going to use today. In the past, I used, I don't know where I left it, the leather paper from Tim Holtz. Tonight, uh, I'm using, I've used, because I've prepared it, from Sysix, the new, this is a new one. It's the leather um, embossing folder. And it's a beautiful one. It's a really, really beautiful one. Oh yeah, that, that's, he knows those are sort of the best in the world, I think. I don't know. Um, I haven't tried them yet, but uh, yeah, that's why he bought them. Incredible. Um, right, so let me get some bits and bobs out. Look, this is what I did with the suitcase. I don't know if you can pick it up. Yeah. Uh, I gave it leather structure using this folder. Now, how I did this, I cut this out first using the dies, put that in, put it through my die cutting machine, and out came this beautiful, beautiful leathery paper so that was that one so use that i've got some soft finish cardstock the 300 grams because the other one still isn't in the netherlands but i will buy it when it's there and i will stuck up on it um, but this is also beautiful paper the 300 grams so i've used that um i'm using the tim holtz watercolor paper or this is the ranger one but it's exactly the same as the tim holtz one i found out so and of course the star of the show this beautiful suitcase set. Wow, what a set. And I'm so excited that it's finally out because we've had it for a while now, the design team. And um, yeah, I know Anita, it's nearly there. Um, but yeah, I had it for, we've had it for a while now and we've been playing for it, uh, with it for a while now because we make the samples you see when it's launched. Um, but we were all so eager to share it with you because it's a fantastic set, but not just that. A fantastic stamp set to go with that. But look at these beauties. The planner. Okay, here we go. The planner essentials, planner stencils. 
Try saying that 10 times in a row. I've said that before in a video, but the planner essentials, planner stencils. Wow, um, these are fantastic. And I'm gonna play with both of those today. And tomorrow I'm live at Do It In, but I will post the video on YouTube later on because uh, for the English people, they can rewatch it with subtitles then. Um, but uh, this uh, I'm going to be working with tomorrow in combination with a gel plate and acrylic paints and uh, acrylic sprays and lots of different stuff. Yeah, that's a nice one for Scrabble, indeed. Oh, you've got yours already, Jacqueline. Great, you love them. I'm going to use a lot of them and we're going to use different techniques, etc. Um, else already, uh, uh, why is my gel press here? That's for tomorrow. I'm, I'm mixing up two lives today, so... <laughs> I've already had my acrylic paint set out here and then I said to Daniel, oh no, that's for tomorrow. So, um, hi Honora, hi Sue, hi Susan, hi everybody. Right, so this is a fantastic set. So we're gonna use that. I've got sprays, I've got uh, uh, um, different kind of pastes. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use yet, but I've been playing this earlier this week and I know what I'm gonna make for the cover and the back. And that's this one. And I'm going to show you how this is made. And this is the one that Els was speaking about yesterday during her launch. Um, it was not with embossing powder. That was the other side that I will also show you. Uh, and this is, oh, I, I, oh, I, can't, I can't get enough of it. it. I love this. So let's get playing, shall we? Yes, those were the secret. The stencils and the suitcase set. So I'm going to put these to the side because I'm going to need all of them. And I'm going to start with um, this. And let me just get my, where did I put that? It's nice that I've got a lot of space now in my craft room uh, to put some stuff, but I can't find anything. <laughs> it's not in my system yet. Right. I'm gonna put that on my Make Art Station just to make sure that it's not sliding everywhere. And then I'm gonna take this beautiful stencil and this also almost looks like a leathery, leathery look. There's still some sticky bits on there. Bear with me. Bear with me, bad boy. Because I don't need that. I didn't clean it. <laughs> it doesn't need to be sticky right now. There we go, all nice and clean. Now I'm gonna put this on like this and then I'm gonna put the magnets down to keep that in place. That's good to see, good to hear, uh, Belinda, good to hear. And then I'm gonna take this color, sorry, I had to think. Uh, the forest moss in the oxide formula and I will take my green brush now normally I always clean off my brush before I start but in this case I know what color is on there because it's the last one I used hi Tracy good to see you too welcome everybody right so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to come in I am mistaken guys sorry I have to get my head around this I'm going to come in and I'm going to color this one all green. We'll get there. I promise. Color this all green. And then I'm going to come in with the stencil. Now the paper I've used here is the uh, watercolor cardstock. But I'm going to mix and match different sorts of cardstocks today because I want to see uh, how things hold up. Yeah, I've got one dedicated brush per uh, color and then the I've got two sets, one for the normal inks and one for the oxides. Um, because I'm lazy, I don't want to clean enough in between. Hmm. Not that you need that, but... Uh, yeah, I know myself and otherwise it will be a complete mess. So that's why I invested in that. Okay, beautiful green suitcase, but it's boring now. But even if you leave it like this, you see the leather um, structure in that paper. Love that. Right, now we put this one back on. 
and I'm going to take my big brush and I'm going to take my walnut stain. Sorry, other brush. This was my ink one. <laughs> this one. And these stencils are fantastic. So I'm going to come in from the side and I'm going to go over all of this. Make sure you press it down well. Now you can line it up. So that's my rest. A good thing. There we go. I will just press it down like this. That's what you get from pressing pressing too hard. Uh, tomorrow I'm live at doing at seven o'clock Dutch time. That's six o'clock UK time and eleven o'clock Elsewhere time. I don't know how to say that. I always have to look that up. Mountain time MT. So eleven p.m. MT. Is that correct, guys, from the US? This is Forest Moss, Joseph. Beautiful deep green color, not too bright. Right. Now, look at that. That's already really pretty, right? At least I think so. Then I'm going to come in from the side, darken it up ever so slightly. Okay, good. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you, Honora. Exactly. First me for one hour and then Esther for another hour. Yay! Okay. I love this. I think this is fantastic. Um, but I'm not done yet, but I have to quickly dry this. So I'm going to take my heat tool. Just quickly dry that off. There we go. Next, I'm coming in with um, a wax paste. Uh, this is from Craft Emotions. Um, and this color is a, um, what do you call that? Coppery color. And then I need a scrap piece of paper that I had prepared, but I dumped stuff on it. I'm just going to dab that on. And then I'm just very lightly going to go, and this is why else thought it was embossed, because there was shine on it. Let's take off a bit more. Very lightly go over that, so that the high points of that embossing pick up that shine. And I'm going to put a bit more on here, on the handle, and along the side. There we go. Can you pick up the shine? Do you see that? I love this. Stunning effect. Just a tiny bit more on top here. Yes, it's a it's a wax paste, and uh, what it does is it gives a metallic look, and you can even make black paper. Let me see, I've got a scrap piece of black here. Um, see, this is stark black, but when you put this on, you can actually change the color um, of the paper, and then when it's dry, I always store my foam thingy in there. So I don't lose it. And then what I do with my paper towel, I'm just polishing very softly over that wax. And that gives it an additional shine, makes it look like metal. Um, now I could have done this with the foundry wax, I could have done that. I just forgot. <laughs> um, but this is just as quick and easy. Look at that. Look at that shine. Love it. Now see this piece here? If I polish that up. Look 
at that shine over that black, but that black still shines through. So I think that's also a fun, fun technique. Let me clean this off. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I'm going to go to the other side. And what I'm going to do there is I'm going to take my pink brush and I'm going to take tattered rose. And I'm going to cover all of this with tattered rose. So this is a different technique that I'm going to show. Hi, Patricia. No worries. You missed how I made this. So coming back with that, coming in with that tattered rose, which I think tattered rose is a stunning uh, color, uh, very soft, vintage, old looking, like me. Um, but yeah, it's, I think it's a stunning color. So I'm going to color this whole piece with tattered rose. Very nice, soft color. So just cover that whole back page with that pink. Like that. Yeah, it's always confusing, isn't it, Joseph, with all the times, all the different times in the world. Um, and then all the different time zones in the US. Right, so I've put on a nice layer of that tattered rose. There we go. Next, I'm going to um, come in with my stencil again. I have to clean that off because I don't want this color on there. So I'm just using a baby wipe to clean off that stencil. When you use normal ink, baby wipes are fantastic to do that. There we go. Take a clean piece of paper towel. Now, these are the things I normally add, edit out when I'm not live. Um, here we go. Thank you, Joseph. Right, I'm going to put this back on. And then what I'm going to do is some direct to paper with my Versa mark. And before I put it on, I will show you what I'm going to use. I've got this vintage pearl embossing powder. Magic stuff. I've had this in my stash since a couple of months. Um, but wow, wait till you see this being embossed, being heat embossed. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to smoosh the ink on there. Yeah, and it can pick up a bit of pink. Do I worry? No. I will just wipe it over a piece of paper later on and it's gone. So that's that. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to use that again, but I'm going to put that in a tub of water. I've got a big tub of water that I'm going to put my stencils in. And I will clean them off later. So then um, I'm going to take my coffee filter and just put that beautiful embossing powder on there. Put this back because I don't want to waste this beautiful stuff. Close this up. 
And then I've got a fun little tool that I saw from Ranger. I just had to have it. Sorry, I'm, I'm a hoarder. I really am. Look at that. It's a little thing in my bobbly to hold stuff when you're heat embossing. Isn't that fantastic? Look. So you don't burn your fingers. And I know you can use tweezers and everything, but I saw it and I just had to have it. So I'm going to heat up my heat tool. Oh yeah, making mistakes. Welcome to my world. And I'm just going to melt this. Just going to melt this powder. Okay, now speaking of mistakes, I've already know what I've done differently because here I did the um, heat embossing first and then I did a uh, emboss resist technique. Now I've put on the embossing powder and it's almost covered the whole page, but it's still beautiful, right? Um, but you get the gist. So what I would normally do is first put on the embossing, then put on the ink. Good to remember. But anyways, that's this. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get my thingies out. Got a big box of um, things that I've die cut out. And I'm going to put an else will be so proud of me. Look, I've got adhesive on the back. I'm just going to pick up my stuff again. I'm just going to some of that metallic paste on these parts here. I always forget it, but else told me yesterday that I'd better use it today. So else I listen to you for once. <laughs> there we go. We'll put that on here. And this is so easy to assemble, guys. It's really I understand it, so that says a lot. There we go. And then I've got, I should have, yeah, this is just a piece of brown that I'm gonna put on here, as it is brown leather. Get my tweezers out. I know it's, I mean, I, I, I've got a clothespin here as well uh, that I use. Um, I've got tweezers that I can use, but I just loved it. I saw that thing and I thought I had to have it. It's just fun. Do you need it? No, of course not. You can use a clothespin or tweezers um, like, like, like these tweezers. The, the, I don't know how these are called, but they've got rubber on here so they don't get hot work as well so don't run out and buy them but i just had to have them so that's this one that's gonna go on there oh no put on the other one first here we go i'm missing a lot of comments i think It's a habiting, exactly, Anita. It's a one and a half. 
unlike this set, the suitcase set, because that's a need to have. <laughs> At least I think so. It's so much fun. There we go. Now, where did I put my leather? I just had it in my hands. Oh, here it is. It's fun, right, Petra? Now, I was shopping at Duoding and I saw it and I had to have it. There we go. Now, it's already looking like a suitcase, right? So, I've got my leathery thingies here. I'm going to go on there. Yeah, I'm working on the front now. That's good. Now, here I've got the little clamps. 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 How do you call that? Um, that I'm going to make uh, this color. As I showed before, it doesn't matter what base color you have, because you can turn any color into a metallic. That's why I left this paste out. Somebody mentioned earlier, you can use that to make the metallic parts, uh, uh, metallic parts of the suitcase metallic. Well, that was the plan, Stan. You have to do it on the right side though, David. There we go. Put that away. Don't need that for now. Just need to let that dry for a second. Clean off these. Already my hands are looking like a mess. Yeah, I know. I would not be able to resist buying this kit. And that's not because I'm on the design team. Trust me, I'm in love with this. So, I'm gonna pop this out, as I tried three times before. How I assemble this, um, I always have to think, yeah, I do like this. Then put it through the hole. And then I put this part through here, like so. Did I do that wrong now? I'm always confused with this part, guys, so bear with me. Yeah. Has to go like this, sorry. No, I had it right the first go. Oh, come on. This goes under, so you can see that. I ha I've done this many times and now I'm confused. Uh... <laughs> there we go. Okay, I'm officially going nuts. This is how I'm going to do it. Whether it's right or not. And it's right. Blimey. Okay. Now let's hope the second one goes quicker. Now I know how to do it, right? think <laughs> yeah like that there <sighs> that was a I wouldn't say delivery because I don't know how that feels but I don't know how I did it but it worked this is the first time I struggled with that because the other ones were done in a flash. But that was a while ago because I had to send them to Els in the US, which takes a while. Well, it didn't take that long because I sent them to Els her mother when Els was here in the Netherlands. So, okay, there we go. <sighs> it's 
been a long day. The other way around, David. <laughs> That's what you get for being in meetings all day. My brain is going dead. Uh, at least you can have a laugh. You guys can have a laugh. There we go. That's better. I did the same here. I am really not with it today. Sorry about that, guys. Actually, I don't think it's because of work. I think it's because we just had a little stress moment right before we started. Am I doing it again? Really, where's my head? We had a little stress moment right before we started because the sound wasn't working. So literally, literally three minutes before, two minutes before we went live, I had to uh, restart my computer, everything. Oh yeah, it's gotta be fine, I know that, but uh, I just get frustrated with myself. But I think that's more what it is than, uh, than work because I, I had a busy day, but a fun and relaxed day, so no worries there. Um, but it was uh, the stress just before we started. Right, they're assembled, so we, we got there in the end. So I'm gonna, Take my glue. What's wrong with Tracy? Okay, now lining this up right next to the handle and press it down. Now this went well. Good, I'm back on track, guys. I am back on track. Who's watching Eurovision Song Contest? That's going to be on at nine o'clock tonight. But it's going to take forever, so I'm not going to be bothered too much to watch it. Um, any of you watching that? Now, what I have here is a little stamp, a ticket stamp from the stamp set. I'm gonna put that on here, just like that, just to give it a bit more oomph. So, for now, here is my front page, and here is my back page. So we can start to build that book further on after I have put on whole reinforcements. Well, to be honest, this Eurovision isn't what it was in the past. Um, and I'm not going to be able to watch the finale. I am there. In the past, there wasn't a year I missed. Um, but uh, uh, this year I will not be able to watch because I'm in Germany the whole weekend for work. I've got two days full of meetings. And uh, so I'm going to miss it anyway. So. Well, I can't be bothered to watch the to watch the semi-finals as well. Okay, these are the new hole reinforcers that come in the pack that I cut out with adhesive on the back. <laughs> they match this suitcase beautifully. Yeah, I did, Diane. I remember that. Right, that was that. So, better close up my glue. Um, I've got some other elements already cut out. Here's the boot that I've already cut out and assembled. Here is the bike that I've already cut out with adhesive on the back. And somewhere here, I had the boat, which was really fun. So where is it? Nobody's leaving. My boat is gone. Oh, never mind. So I've got some fun bits ready to go. But first, I want to uh, show you this one. This is another page I've made with the stencils. Um, so I'm going to do that same pattern on the other side, just so to give you... Is it on the floor? 
It could well be, but I don't see it. No, I'll find it. It'll come. It'll come. And if not, I'll find it tomorrow and I'll show you in the picture. I'm not going to be uh, too much bothered with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to color this again with tethered rose. Again, with that beautiful color. So this is where I got confused when I prepared this. I, uh, I knew this one, I had to do a full blend of color. And the other one, I should have done it afterwards. But anyway, that's how it goes. Good. I have a nice layer of that color on there. And then I'm going to come in with that beautiful stencil. And some of my wrong brush. This one. So I'm going to come in from the top and just going to blend that over that orange or over that pink. Just like that. Look at that. That pattern. I love that pattern. Now, why is my boat gone? Because I had a plan because this looks like waves to me. I wanted to put my boat on here. Oh, well, I'll do that later, or I'll make a new one. There we go. Look, fast and easy, but a page with impact, in my humble opinion. I just love this. So, I'm going to put that in the booklet. Then, um, I've got, this is a piece of uh, soft finish cardstock. And what I'm going to do is put that on here and take one of the other stencils. Let me see which one. I like this one, the circle one. Oh no, the numbers one. I'm going to do the numbers one. Make up your mind, David. Yeah. Love that numbers one. So I'm going to put that on there. I'm just going to put my little silicone mat on here because that makes it easier to clean because I'm going to work with some pastes. Uh, yeah, like that. Now I have to choose what part I need to put on there. You have to, Joseph. If you don't have it yet, you need to go. Okay, that's where I want it. Then I'm going to come in with this one. This is from Cadence, and it's a, a dark, very dark. I think, is this the black one? <laughs> very dark because it's black. Um, glitter paste, structure paste. It's beautiful. So I'm going to put that on there. I'm just going to mix that up a tiny bit. Now, press that down firmly. I'm going to spread this out over my stencil. Now, I don't know if you can hear it, but this is really gritty, this stuff, but it's so pretty. And this is also what I love to do with stencils, just a bit of mixed media. There we go. Let's 
scrape off the excess and reveal the magic. Ta -da! Okay, this is obviously not finished yet, but I will put this to the side to dry for a minute. Just take my finger to get the sharp edges off. There we go. And I'm going to put this to the side to dry. I'm just cleaning my uh, spatula. I need that again. So I'm doing that in my tub of water and then drying it off with a piece of paper towel. There we go. Clean off my little mat. That's why I took this mat, because I can clean that off quick and easy. Right, that was that one. Now, let's have another one. Let's have a go at this one. And... What I want to do is create a bit more of a grungy one. And I want to use this one. This is the new crackle paste from uh, Distress. And it's a translucent one. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to color this paper. Again, this is the soft finish cardstock. Um, any ideas color-wise? Any ideas? What do you like? We've already got green. We've got pink. Um, uh, let's do... You can choose. Um, okay. Two choices. Tumbled glass or uh, Victorian velvet. Blue or Victorian velvet. Tumbled glass, tumbled glass, tumbled glass. <laughs> Thanks, Honora. Velvet, 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 blue, tumbled glass. Uh, Victorian velvet. Okay, I think blue is the majority, so I'll put Victorian velvet to the side for the next page. Let's do that. So I need my blue. So I'm just gonna clean up my brush because I think I've got salvage patina on here. Yeah. So I'll just clean off my brush and then load this up real good. And color that. Now this is why I love soft finish cardstock because the way it takes the ink, the way it takes color is just absolutely fantastic. Now this is going to be quite a frosty page, I think, but we'll see. Because I always choose selvage patina. I just, selvage patina was, is, is, is my favorite color. So, the other colors are jealous of Selvage Patina. So that's why I didn't choose it. Um, but yeah, stunning color Selvage Patina. It's really one of my favorites. But then again, I love all these colors. I love the oxides as well, Nora. So, now we have a very boring blue page. There we go. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my spatula again, and I'm going to choose a stencil. Now I think for this one, this stencil, I absolutely adore. Let me see. Ah, I know where it is. <laughs> Bear with me. Because this is how I do what I do with my um, 
stencils, when I've washed them, I put them on this uh, drying rack. It looks like grass. And you can just store them in there upright. Just So I, I wash them, keep them wet, put them in there and done and dusted. So these need to go here. Put this one in the back again. So that's very handy, but if you don't put them back, right, this one is one of my favorite stencils, but I have many at the moment. So um, I just want that on here like that. I want that full, full curl on there. Yeah, I got the idea from Tim Holtz. Um, Honora, I will send you a link of what it's called. I don't remember. I really don't remember. Can you send me a message that I need to send you the message? Yeah, that's right. Can you send me a message that I have to send you the message? Because I've, I will forget, but uh, I will be happy to send it. Uh, this one. So this is translucent crackle paste. So it's not translucent now. Just gonna take a bit out. Now this is gonna be a lot smoother than the other one. I'm gonna put that on here. Just smooth that out. Does it have to be perfect? No. Can I miss some spots? Yes. Will I miss some spots? Yes. That is the whole idea. Then I will scrape off the excess and put that back in the pot because why not do that? Oh yeah, Anita, you said that the other day. I was laughing really hard when I saw that. But that works. That's the thing, I'm just too busy to waste my time on these things. There we go. Now you can't really see it but this is a stunning pattern. In my brush thingy. These things are perfect. These uh, Nouveau silicone spatulas look like them. Right, so this goes to the side to dry. Um. Let's see. Oh yeah, this is what I want to do now. So I've got um, the pocket that in the, in the set, got that cut out. And what I did as well is I cut it from the other side. So I have this tab on the right side and I've trimmed off all the fold lines. So now I have a card that fits in here like that. Um, so I'm gonna, do something to this. I'm not sure what yet. What shall I do? What shall I do? What technique shall I use? Um, let me think. I think I've got something. Just gonna try something. This is another Tim Holtz embossing folder. And I'm just quickly gonna run that through my embossing folder. So what I do, this is something you guys don't know about me. Um, I'm preparing something, but I am, let me put it this way. My name is David and I'm an addict. Embossing folders. And for some reason, I'm, I'm not, I ne hardly ever make videos using them, but I just love embossing folders. Yeah, it has to go like this. Hey, Marlene. Always good, you know that. Now this is a 3D embossing folder, so this goes directly onto the base plate. Add a cover plate. It's an addiction, right? These embossing folders. Well, I think there are more, there are worse addictions. Did I do this right? Just let me double check because 
3D embossing folders. Yes. So it's gone through twice. Do I have a pattern? Do I have a pattern? Look at that. Oh, wow. I love it. Fantastic. I use the negative side of this folder because um, I like it. So what I'm going to do next now, I have to use some kind of brick color, I think. I have that fire brick. There we go. Nice, deep reddish brown. Oh, I just love embossing folders. I like it. I love it. I want more of it. OK, there we go. Clean this off. I don't know why I think it's candied apple. This is, I think it's amazing people that, that can see a color like that and say it's that color. It's just because I remembered what color, color red I used last, but otherwise I would not be able to see that. It dawned on you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put some color on this, mainly on this part, because this is going to be folded away in the back anyway going to be a bit more tricky to glue down now, but hey, do I look like I care? No, because I love this. Okay, that's on there. It's a really good layer that's on there. Oh, there's so much more you can do with these stencils. There's not enough time. But yeah. There is not enough time in a day. So that's that. Then I'm coming in with a bit of walnut stain, just to brunch that up a bit. You know what? I, I, I really don't care if my stencils get stained. I agree with you, Tracy. But I wanted to keep them clean for the launch. So I was scrubbing on some of them because I was doing some stuff with paint on them. And that really... Uh, yeah, stained some of them. So, but I got them clean just by using alcohol. Uh, took a sip while I did it. No, no, no. 90% alcohol cleaned them off perfectly. Look, I love this. Look at that. I love it. I just love it. So that's that one. Then I'm going to need a base page to put that on. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to Go over this with pie brick. Just around the edge because it's going to be covered with uh, this beautiful brick thing. And I think what could be fun, just around the edges, is to use one of the stencils. This one. And I'm going to take my walnut stain. This is just what I love, guys, playing with inks and with stencils and with, with texture pastes. Yeah. Love it. So I'm just putting that walnut stain over this red that we just put on there. There we go. Look at that pattern. You gotta love it. Well, oh, you don't. You you don't have to, but yeah, you gotta love it. Right now, I'm gonna fold these fold lines to the inside, which I said will be quite tricky now, but I will manage. There we go. Not too bad actually. Now I just need my tape. I will take this one. The small one will do. I don't know where my thicker one is. So put that on. 
I always forget to talk when I'm putting on tape. Femke. Yes, I know what you mean, Femke. Right. Take off this backing. There we go. Let's press this on a bit more. And the other one. Just take off that tape. There we go. Put this one on. Line it up. I love this. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Now, this card, obviously, I need to do something to that, but just for your idea. It doesn't stick with the tape. So I'll put on some glue as well. We're not going to let this beat us, right? Thank you, Diane. Right. Now this can fit in. I just have to wait until that glue is done. So I'll get back to this. I will just put some weight on that. No, oh, now it's stuck. Okay. There we go. Put it in. I will not force it in, but it fits in completely. You've got a beautiful tag page. So another great page done. Now I know crackle paste, you normally should not heat set, but I will, because otherwise we'll be here a long time. You want a song on Aura? Well, watch the Eurovision Song Contest. There's a lot of songs on there. Ooh, ah. That's a Dutch song. I don't know anything more. Yeah, I know else, but I'm impatient. Hey, else, you're here. Uh, else, you've missed, but I've put adhesive behind everything. I will dry this one because I know this one can stand the heat. <laughs> well, thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> Elsa is the queen of everything. I've learned loads and loads and loads from Elsa just by watching the lives. I should have done this first and then do the other bits because then this would have been dry by now. Sometimes I'm just thinking, okay, David, get a grip. Anyway, yeah, it was else. Else is here. Else in the house. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Oh dear. Uh, I've watched them all. I think uh, Sue. I think I've nearly watched them all. There it goes, it starts to crack. So why am I doing it like this when I have this? Okay, anybody see my hands? Sometimes, really. I'm always laughing. How do you know it's dry? Well, If it's not, if it's cold, it's still wet. If it's not cold, it's dry. That's what Tim always says. Just a little bit more here. Cool. 
this one. Just put it to the side for a second. It'll have to do because I want to finish this. Because what I want to do is I've got this. This is from Lavinia. It's a golden temple mica infused mist spray. Now all the mica is at the bottom, so I have to shake that up. I saw some beautiful pictures again, Else, from you and the grandchildren. Good for you. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, I'm going to take my piece of paper. I don't know if this is going to work, guys. We're going to experiment this together. Because I'm not, I'm not sure this is going to resist it. It is. So I'm just going to put that mica stain on there. And I think I might take another color. Um, the Indian sunset. Just shake that up. Everybody's entitled for a holiday, right? Oops. It's stuck for some reason. There we go. There we go. That's not too bad, actually, with the black. I like that. I'm just going to dab on that black. To get that shine from the black on out again. Now, this is where the magic happens. Because these sprays, they dry quickly. Yeah, I know, Diane, I do that with the Tim Holtz ones, but these you don't have to. These are magical. I don't know why it works like that, but... Because it sinks to the bottom, you do this, and it's done. Look at that. Beautiful bright colors. You still see the sparkle in the black, and you see the shine on that paper. Love that. And this is still not dry enough. Okay, guys, this one. Where is it dry? It is. Why isn't it crackling then? I'm just going to help it along a bit. Because the crackling effect takes a while. It is, it is um, crackled. So let me get my crayons out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the crayons and I'm just going to scribble that over here. And you see that texture coming through? It's going to give it a really nice grungy look. Let's put it up from here. See that? No, but that's the thing. It was uh, the transparent one, so I couldn't see the crackle. But that's the beauty. If you put this on... Now, Tim does it. Let me try his way. I've got... Because I've got these brushes that he uses. Yeah, I know. I just didn't realize it. Yeah, that brand is Lavinia. So I'm going to pick up that. What's this color? Hickory Smoke. And I'm going to... That's better. Put that over. Really pick that up. Put that on. Now, this side hasn't crackled that much, but anyway. I will just then accentuate that in a different way. There we go. And I still like this. You see that accentuates the crackle here. 
Um, the blue is still shining through here, so I like that. It's a bit of a different style. Um, but I love the crayons. I don't use them enough. So um, I'm just going to put some fun on this. This is another experiment I did. I love this little stewardess. This is a puff, uh, puffy embossing powder. I think it was fun. So I did that on black and then colored her in with pencils uh, with red. And then I will put this on here. Yeah, I think that's fun. Just to finish it up a bit. And then I'm going to show you what we did today. Now, this is also from that stamp set. This one, the XOXO, and I just stamped uh, one, two, three, four, five in a row. Just going to take my blue, just going to come over that with what's left on my brush. Make it a bit more matchy matchy. I don't like that stark white on there. There we go. And I'm going to put the lady on. That was the goal for today. I just wanted to show you a lot of things we can do with the stencils, different things. I did them on these now because I love that new camera kit. Love, 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 love it. Um, but I, I also think it is a, a great way. For, you can use them on cards. Mondays, Tuesdays, Tuesdays video will be a card I made with this. Um, you can use them in your planner. You can use them on the Little things, you can use them on anything you want. Uh, that's the whole idea. So, yeah. Now let's go back to this one because the glue has dried now. So I can put this in. There we go. You see, that's because I want these boots to be on here. Now I still, I still don't see my boat. There you go. What did I say? Camera kit? I mean, the suitcase kit, of course, but I also love the camera kit because the pages I'm using, these ones are from the camera kit. So I'm going to put these in front of the wall and I've got this bicycle that I will also put on there. Thank you, Jacqueline. I love this little bicycle as well. That's going to be on here as well. like that. And then I'm going to take my red. And I'm just going to grunge this up a bit. And I'm going to put the glue behind this. And I will work on that um, tag another day. There we go. This is also a stamp that's from the stamp set. Here it goes. Take it easy. So. I have not seen one yet. Um, I'm pretty addicted to all of these dies and stamps. I love the beautiful blooms as well. Uh, but I think you guys know that already. That these are one of my favorites. Right, now I'm going to just quickly grab this and I'm going to put this in just in a random order because it's not important. And then let's have a look at what we did today. There. Now, we made this page, the cover, with the shine on it and the pattern from the um, stencil on that leathery paper. Then on the other side, we made this one with that beautiful pearl vintage embossing powder with the same stencil. Let me close up that glue. That is a disaster waiting to happen. There. We made this one with just plain ink and stenciling. We made this one with the embossing uh, folder and then met with the stencil around it. 
We made this one. Love this. Uh, I, I love this. Look at that shine. Oh, love it. So I've still got pages to do. Obviously, it's not done. This one came out really nice with the uh, crayons on it. Love that. And then we made this back page as well. So we did a lot today, I have to say. Now I'm going to look under my map. My boat is there. No, no boat. Row, row, row your boat. I found it. Look, there he is. This is my boat that I made. Found him. Look, and then the idea I had was to put him here on these waves. Just like that. Now, I made this one with yellow paper in the back, so the lights shine through. You can use any color paper. You can use any, yeah, use your imagination. This boat, this is just a basic one. The sky is the limit. You can put the round circle thingies on. Actually, I have them cut out to put on there. I just want to put this boat right in these waves. Then I've got these. I've got too much paste on my fingers. I'm so happy I found that boat because that completes the page. I'm going to put these on here like that. So the silver bits you see on here I made with the silver paste, the same as I did the wax paste, the same as I did with the front. And I'm just going to put these brown portholes on like that. Then, then we are done skis for today. There we go. Isn't that fun? Fantastic. This boat. Look at him. Look at that. Love him. Right. Okay, guys, this was it uh, for today. Thank you again, everybody, for joining me here tonight, for um, uh, helping me get to uh, um, you know, over 4,000 hours. You watched over 4,000 hours of me. I'm amazed. So thank you for that. I'm so grateful for that. Um, we are nearly at 1,500. So if you haven't subscribed yet, do that, because then I will do another fun giveaway. So that's that. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And also if you don't like it, the other day I had people giving me a thumbs down. Now, I don't care. Don't get me wrong. I, I, it doesn't bother me, but I just don't understand it. We make free videos for people to enjoy. They don't have to pay. You don't have to do anything. My mom told me if you haven't got anything nice to say, then keep your mouth shut. So why give a thumbs down? But anyway, uh, give it a thumbs up. That helps me a lot. And thank you for watching tonight. And I will really, really see you I hope to see you for the next one. Tomorrow at Duoding, playing with stencils again, but in a completely different way. Uh, Seven o'clock Dutch time. And after that, it will be live on my YouTube channel, so you can follow it here as well. Um, uh, Friday or Saturday, there will be another video uh, on my channel with this new collection and Tuesday as well. Then you're going to be fed up with me and I'm going to take a couple of days break. Back on Thursday, live with you. So I'll see you next week. Thank you very much for joining me. And I'd love to see you for the next one. Thank you. Bye.